Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Android 100 Extreme to a very exciting episode. As a today, of course, of all days, we are finally advancing to investors. Holy cow, we need it, right? In this case here, we are negative on the balance. There is not that much room for improvements anymore for me, as my warships are really taking up a lot of um, of my maintenance costs now, honestly, and also my high tech industry, especially my advanced weapons there as well. So this is all dragging me down a lot, even with propaganda almost set to medium. Uh, we are looking at a loss here and yeah we also used all the resources here the only thing that we have for growth of course is the penny farthing so this is what we're going to start working then as well but for now let's go ahead and upgrade also we need influence 19 influence we have and investors just give you a lot of influence let's actually go ahead and just start with these center blocks here and this is going to yeah consume as many resources as possible for me and look at my balance and influence that is nice <laughs> and metropolis it is uh, for starters and with that we are now advancing really into the end game slowly um yeah they will need a whole bunch of new things that we can provide we don't have to um in this case here the influence is the important thing right age of big business is also upon us that's always lovely i don't know why we unlock advanced weapons again already had this and yeah the balance is finally positive again so we got a whopping uh, 4,000 just upgrading ship these blocks here. Oh, and another ship destroyed. Where exactly? All the way down here by the pirate. I mean, there's lots of resources. I think this was one of my construction ships. Yep. So I probably should collect a few things there to get the... Yeah. Get some of my materials back in again. Oh, weapons too. There you go. Right, so we got those things back again. Not that much lost, a, a few bricks, that's about it. And with that, we're also back in Rocha right away, um, where we can continue while Sleepy Hollow recovers building material-wise, and we can then continue with some more investing, of course. So here, um, it is, of course, these guys. There's, by the way, also a very good brick um, deposit. Right, so three bricks that we have here. This could also help us out then. And now we can start with the yeah, with the caoutchouc. The problem is we just lost our <laughs> our uh, cargo ship again to this. It's a very risky trade route here, right? So um, down from Rocha, as you can see, it's deep in the new world, and we need to get to the old world this way. So this could really hurt us then a bit as well. All right, there's some attack here. Could I do? Oh, we got a new legendary item. Movement speed, self repair to 500%. That's the one definitely then in for one of my battle cruisers. We're going to reallocate some of those items, of course. Uh, let's actually move those two up again. We need to protect the pawn there. And I would also, with a bit of influence that we have now in addition, first of all, we can go in a battle cruiser. But before I do that, let's actually build two more cargo ships and then a battle cruiser. That way, I can actually build two battle cruisers already um, right after. That's great stuff. We can also at the same time build another ship of the line, two ships of the line. Let's do this as well. As they, of course, don't lose value just because we have battle cruisers now. Uh, we can diversify, that's all. Okay, I don't know why this one is on fire. Super uh... strange. Alright, look at the world map. It's busy out there right now. It's, it's a bit hectic. Uh, we need to... Keep a, a close track there on any incoming attacks that might happen. And of course the pirates as always because Anne Harlow is in every corner of the map, literally. <laughs> and there's another bigger attack by Miss Hunt. It's the flamethrowers that are saving the day and of course my mortar. Let's activate one of them. Beautiful. Beautiful sight. And then also this. They're unfortunately a bit slow, right? So you need to time them correctly. will also go down. There's actually two more ships over there. We should be able to take down both of them. Oh yeah, they're taking each other down as well. Great stuff. There we have, once again, some loot that I'm very curious about. Oh yeah. Attack speed, 20% bonus in attack range, 10%. This is a lovely indeed. Another nice item that we can use. And there's also the Admiral coming in again. Uh, <laughs> and there's also Miss Hunt once again with two more ships. Crazy stuff, how aggressive they have become. Indeed. Not that much I can do that right now. There's no way I can do a, a stable trading a trading route, right? So many warships in my channels. 
I actually sent those two over. Now we'll definitely need two here at least. It's the Admiral once again trying to get into my flamethrower there for some strange reasons. Of course he will fail. And yeah, he takes he takes quite the damage. And while we are at it, we could also destroy his two ships there. Very good. I mean, we took a lot of damage there too. But of course, this is totally worth it. And Miss Hunt at the same time. What is going on? <laughs> it's crazy stuff. Uh, those two ships will prevail, hopefully. Looks good. And here we got some more weapons out and another book. Those guys will certainly need to go back here to Santiago. I don't think we can actually afford the repair crane here, though, can we? Now it's 75 tons. By the way, a cost that is way too high, I think. Uh, and there's this attack. Yep, we can take down this ship. But how can they build it so quickly? Alright, some so soap. Yeah, thank you very much, Miss Hunt. And coffee. Both of them we don't need. Get those ships back. Um, I do have my, my Halibut there. So we can use Halibut actually for my Kautschuk trading and just try it out. It's a cheap product. I really should get cracking on Kautschuk now. So let's have it here. It's the next super important product that we are going to need, right? I mean, it's not a product. A, a raw material, that is. And I should, I should start with that now. Let's just try to keep the impact of it to a minimum over here, right? Then I can have another one here, here, and probably here. Just around this. There's nothing up here, right? I mean, this oil spring there, I really don't care about. And then we have that one too. Very good, right? So with that we have, I mean, they're very slow with the production, right? But still, this can make up. Uh, we need four of them for one penny farthing's production. Um, so I would like to actually have, I mean, how much is the maintenance cost? Yeah, 25, right? They're super cheap. So let's go ahead and have six of them actually build right away. Because this way, or even seven, this way we also create a, a slight surplus that we can have then, right? These are fine, that's 7, and let's build them. That's 67,000 on the bank, by the way. But that's going to be worth it. I mean, they're ridiculously expensive, right? Building it, maintaining them is not so expensive then. Right, here though we have a ship of the line, and this gunboat has no chance really. Down it is. It's too close there. Eh, it's actually not too close. We can definitely take the loot there. A gunboat. Yeah, movement speed increased 5%. Thank you very much. A cargo ship. Perfect. And another ship of the line. Is also coming out. This trader is working surprisingly well there with my flagship. Uh, let's also go in and upgrade more to investors again. These guys here. These guys here. Very nice. Right? Boosting my, my general influence again and my income. And by the way, by the way, a brick skin, a night left skin, or a colorful skin. Let's go with the brick skin. It's it's darker. And then also once again makes a bit more sense to my rather darker tone of the city that we have. This cargo ship, San Juan, we're probably going to use on yeah, um, rum. I'm not so sure about we have the coffee trade. There's only one ship on it, so I will actually need to use San Juan on this. Um, and then I'm going to have a second cargo ship that is then going to work on the couch ship. The advantage with the cargo ship, of course, is that they're super fast, right? Faster than any kind of wooden ships and also way more durable. So we have 4,000 hit points as opposed to 2,500 hit points. They can sustain way more damage. For this one, let's actually turn it around here, then here, and then all around it we need to put a manual waypoint on this otherwise it's getting into one of those nasty defenses once more yeah timber is not so quick about right now investors are super unhappy right now that's probably because the member club is missing so we should provide this of course first and foremost and definitely also the penny file things that's just something we really need to provide a member club um 
is it boosting yeah it's also boosting then the income here so this is really the important thing 50 timber we need for that and also then 50 50 000 credits once more and a bit of space so we might actually have it instead of the church now yep honestly that's not so bad because the church is not providing that much happiness anymore uh, there is a bunch of artisans still and workers that are profiting from this <sighs> I could also get rid of the hospital here and get the member club in and move the, the hospital. Yeah, I think that's better. Let's get rid of the hospital there. That's cheaper and over will maintain me a higher uh, amount of, of happiness. And we can then have those hospitals a bit, or actually two hospitals we need anyway, so I can have one here. I should have this and I can have another block of hospital in here. Perfect right so that we can cover more of the city there as well and then we have the member club in the center i just need lots of timber now i mean yeah let's have it look a bit more beautiful actually looking towards this area there right it's a bit hidden too that's just how a members club is supposed to be and with that i'm just waiting for a bit of timber now to come in should be there it is already 43 tons and with that we have it let's do it right away super important actually and this will once again also boost my income there quite significantly. So 1.8 we have and now it goes up to 3.3. Three. All right. Thank you very much. Also the happiness increases, of course, for the investors. That's important. We don't have any full-fledged rides or something like that. Ship of the line. That's the moaner. There you go. And two more cargo ships. Yeah, cargo ships take a long time to build. Then we have two battle cruisers on the queue. Perfect. We want to pump out those ships. Building some large fleets is paramount. What is that? Silver's Tortilla. No thanks. Alright, back in the new world. Back in the new world. We will now send the... Where is it? Did I lose it? There it is. My, my cargo ship. And we're going to create this trade route now. From Roja. Uh, tricky, right? Uh, we probably will need to pull Santiago as a middle point. Let's just see. And then we go with Sleepy Hollow. However, here, once again, we will also need a middle point. It's just... We could also, of course, make... Um, we also just to Santiago, right? And Santiago is the hub then that, that moves outside. I think this is actually a good idea. Let's move the cow truck only to Santiago, right? Because this is a really quick uh, trade route then. Low risk, hopefully. And we just take all the couchic that we have here and we just deliver all of that couchic then to Santiago. And Halibut, already waiting for it, is going to be on this trade route. Now I just need a trade route that uh, moves to Santiago, which is my, my rum trader, right? And the rum trader already has two cargo ships on it. So this is already a, a trade route that I like quite a bit. Um, and we have six cargo points. The thing is, as you can see, this one here, for example, is not quite full. This one is quite full, so we need to be careful then, Neptune's Gift. Uh, they have six slots, so I would say four slots, five slots go to rum, and one slot goes now to to caoutchouc that we have then as well, right? So I'm just, it's a low volume thing, right? Especially when we have several cargo ships on that, and this will be plenty enough already. And this is an established trade route that actually works securely, and we can have a third cargo ship on it soon once we have finished it. So this is actually doing all the, the checks that I want, um, and it's fulfilling this. Perfect. Neptune's Gift is the only thing that we need to do manually. So let's head back there to the old world. It should be in the region already. It's not. Where's Halibut? Where is it? Neptune's Gift. There it is. Right. Halfway there. So we just need to remember this. I don't have another cargo ship ready right now. No, I don't. So I will need to wait for this. Coming out now soon. Lots of loot out there, by the way. So these must be pirates or mishunts that we destroyed. Uh, no ships though that we could use for that. Axum is very slow. Right still. Get as much in as possible. I have some more timber again. Uh, let's use this right away for some more upgrades. There you go. You want to pump out more investors. It's also helping because the engineers consume sewing machines and glasses and we can actually reduce the consumption of these goods. So we don't really need to push those goods anymore, right? And the workers that are missing right now, let, let's continue with upgrading then also more here. Yeah, problem is, problem is, Admiral's demise. Let's repair those. 
now. Uh, we have my ships close by, but we have the influence now to also push a flamethrower. Once again, I need a ship for this, and once again, I don't have it. Soap. Ooh, this looks good. Animal farm, 30% productivity. Potatoes. <laughs> Uh, Admiral once again comes in more. Very good. There's the cargo ship. Let's get some building materials on that. I think we are missing weapons. Yes, weapons it is. In Admiral's demise. We're going to get some weapons over and build this a flamethrower. So that should secure my coastline down there. And I don't need to have my ships in there anymore. It will, however, consume 25 influence. And, you know, ships are cheaper than that. But still, of course, we have to, we have to secure this. Um, I will also get some windows over. More bricks. All right, what's going on here? A lot of ships are under attack now. I think the ceasefire with an ended. Most likely the case right now. Oh yeah, ceasefire with an has ended. Uh, let's move those ships over. This is also not making things easier there for me right now. She unfortunately did not uh, ask again for another ceasefire, so. We'll have to bite it. There she is. 33,000 she demands only. Let's destroy this ship there. There you go. And let's go ceasefire. Take the loot. Let's hope that we do not lose any trade ships. Okay, meanwhile, we should get the item. Oh, there's also... Yeah, I don't want to build more hospitals, so let's expand the reach of this one here. Ship under attack. And Ghost, you're going to be on my rum trader then as well. I mean, we are at ceasefire with the pirate now. Uh, I probably can go through here. Yeah. It's over there. Uh, I hate him. The Admiral will suffer for all of this. Now, let's go in and build us that flamethrower real quick. There you go. And I think a second cannon tower just as a tank in between as well. <laughs> there you go. All right, there you go. Two more that we get. And we get the first Sea Lord influence title there. And this should give me some additional attack range or speed. Speed it is. 33% speed for my towers. It's actually pretty severe. Uh, let's get my battle cruisers up there again. I want to start consolidating some of my ships there as well. And there is my, my ghost. And ghost, 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 ghost. You're going to be assigned now to my rum trader. Rum and couch you get these at this point, right? Neptune's gift is also closing in on Sleepy Hollow. After a very long journey. Yeah, what is... Why is my ship actually down here? It has active defense activated. That's not great. I'm probably going to lose this warship there. Yeah, he's going to destroy it. I don't know why this single ship was so far outside, though. A shame. But nothing serious was on board. Alright, I think... Yep, two battle cruisers are in construction right now. That's going to be costly. And we should probably also go ahead and upgrade a few more... Workers now a bit more farmers. Actually, we have lots of farmers we could upgrade. Not that I have that many more in Sleepy Hollow, actually. But the ones we have, we can upgrade. Very good. And then we have some more workers that we can go ahead and upgrade to... To artisans. Just would like to check where exactly is these workers here. The artisans. Uh, yeah, we can also upgrade the artisans. Go ahead and upgrade those workers there, though. So that we have more artisans again. 4,000 on the balance, very nice. And yeah, we can then also prepare, of course, the bicycle production. This only needs steel and the caoutchouc then, right? So steel, yeah, we will need to have to check this too. I still have a furnace over there. And I think by now, though, all of them are working. Yeah, all of them are working. It will most likely be, though, a raw input problem, right? So I'm pretty sure, yes, we're out of iron. Once we can provide this, my total balance for steel should be fantastic. It is. Right, so we can easily afford that penny farthing production. Um, there it is. It requires electricity, so it's a production that we need to have close to the 
the power plant. And yeah, we can actually use two here if I want to, right? So that would be the perfect spot for it, I guess. They're also re relatively clean and we don't really need to have um, yeah, anything else here because we have the power plant, we have the, the warehouse close by and we have the space for them. Where else could I have them? I have no idea. No, these are good spots for it. Right, the only thing we would need now is then once again raw materials then and stuff like that. And timber, by the way. Yeah, timber is lacking quite a bit in Sleepy Hollow. We are though capped in Admirals, so another thing we could do manually. If I had the trade ships. Coffee, what's going on here? Let's activate this one. The next coffee trader is active. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Where did she get four ships of the line so quickly? Uh, this will be nasty. Where do I have more? She's moving in. I don't have that many more warships here, though. Attention. Yeah, she found the weakness. This is nasty. Holy cow, that's a lot of ships. Uh, let's take Stations. those three as well. Let's move them up. Take the passive defense there. Take them together. Okay, one is actually separating from the rest. This we should use. Yeah, this one's going down for sure. No idea why this one got separated. Why she did that. That's great stuff. No chance here for this. Still, I really need to pull all my ships together here for this attack. And there is another one separating. That's really strange tactics, Miss Hunt. So we're able to actually catch this one. Of course, the battle cruisers are way faster than a ship of the line and they can attack 360 degrees around them so in this case this one has no chance it cannot even attack right while we fire from behind on it and just do it damage very good the loot was just some soap again she really likes that activate the trade route once more yeah captain richard we are also giving this one here to the battle cruiser then. There's also no harbor defenses there, so we can easily take this down while it tries to flee. Getting too close to my area is not good. There you go. Potatoes. There are potatoes on such an advanced warship. Alright, another clipper there as well. Let's really try to cripple her a bit, though I think the real problem is the Admiral for sure. Oh, pocket watches. That's actually good. Take them. Can boost my income there for a while. And those warships again. Definitely pawn again. We need at least two in pawn. And I cannot afford any defenses in pawn. Forget about that. Don't dare to comment on this at all. Some gold. Another Corsair. Damage to steamships. Very good. That we can take here. And other than that... We keep the dominance. Though it is getting, it is getting really spicy out there. We probably will need to look at some conquest again to ease it up on us because the pressure is really high and we are quite vulnerable with so many with so many trade ships right now we cannot afford to lose any channel right it can collapse so quickly when one of my trade routes gets permanently disrupted not the commodities coming in anymore it really could collapse my my, my whole economy like coffee right now is facing a problem there's the coffee trader right so this is just as i said there is just this one tiny weakness, and the Admiral likes to use this right away. Another battle cruiser, another 850 on my balance, and let's just hope that this coffee is coming in. Let's actually have my my warships here too. We should be at eternal ceasefire hopefully with the pirate as long as we can afford the payment there as well. All right, spicy it is, stressful it is. I need a break. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We continue onwards then. Stay tuned.